How useful is your Baofeng UV-5R when you have to get into a basement due to a tornado? Well, we're going to go ahead and actually try to test that out. First things first, we go down into the basement. Now that we're in a basement, let's go ahead and see what it's like when we turn this on. To test this out, what I'm going to do is have this on and I'm going to flip through the seven NOAA channels along with try to connect to a GMRS repeater in my area. I'll do two levels. I will do one where I'm sitting here at the bar and I'll do another one where I am as close to the ground as possible getting covered by as much concrete as possible. So level one goes as this. Turn it up and I see I'm not picking up the first NOAA channel. I'm not picking up the second. Now to remember I don't ever pick up these channels anyway. So we go to the third and the fourth, fifth, sixth, and there you go. This is the NOAA radio that is actually right next to me so I'd be able to hear it. By right next to me I mean it's like 30 miles away. WRVG 593 on north. And there we go, we got a good positive read from this GMRS radio. Now that I've switched back to the UV5R ham radio, let's go ahead and try level two. This is the most secure room in the house as it is literally just concrete around concrete. Once again, we'll go ahead and try to put on the NOAA frequencies as we have here, NOAA one, two, three, four, Five, six. The green sixty percent. Saturday night, hardly cloudy. And there you go. I'm actually picking it up perfectly. Sunday, hardly cloudy. Now the real question is: Is can I connect to a GMRS or ham repeater with this from here? Well, let's test that out. WRVG five nine three on the valley. And I got a positive click on that. Not to mention it's got this handy dandy flashlight for when the power goes out. And there you go, that's one of the few ways having a little ham radio or GMRS radio could save your skin. A lot of people give these things crap because they're cheap and easily obtainable on the market. But that's actually why you should have one on already and programmed to all these frequencies.